Hello beautiful friends, this is Erica with Crystal Rose Insights and Conscious Alchemy 1111. I'm going to do an update for the General Collective for both Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. Um, helping us here today is this smoky quartz that I found when I went mining and it is um, a really good stone for grounding and getting clarity but really grounding energies into the earthly plane. So. It wanted to be here to support the energies today. I hope everybody had a wonderful and beautiful holiday season. Uh, we're kind of in the midst of it here. Um, so hopefully you've gotten to spend some wonderful time with family and friends. And uh, let's see, a couple quick things. My videos are intended to be timeless. So regardless of when you actually watch this video, um, the messages resonate. That spirit's way of bringing you the messages exactly in the form that will resonate for you at the time that they will hit home. So um, whether you're watching it now when I'm recording this or whether you watch it a year from now or five years from now and if it resonates that is Spirit's way of bringing you the information. So this is a general reading for the collective. Sometimes the messages come through very specifically for one segment of the collective. Um, other times it will be a little bit more general but take what resonates and leave the rest. If you want a private reading information is down below. And, um, what else? Oh, so I am in the process of recording some readings for 2019, and I'm going to be doing the astrological signs for um, the 2019 um, energies. So keep an eye out for those. I am recording them as we speak, and we'll be uploading them here hopefully before the first of the year, but there are... 24 videos that I'm recording, so it's going to be a lot, and let's see, let's see. Um, I think that's about it for now. So let's just get started. So I'm going to pull an overall card for both Divine Mass. One is just kind of an overall for the Union. I'm going to start with that message about the Union energies right now. Clear out the clutter, yes. So this is an energy, the frog spirit. Um, this is the spirit animal animal oracle by Colette Baron Reed. This is about getting rid of the stuff, getting the rid of the last of the stuff that has no longer serving us. Um, this can be the energetics um, happening at the closing out of this year, the solstice here for 2018 the purging, all of that. Many of you guys have been doing this emotional purging, but some of you are going to be clearing out the clutter uh, physically as well. That means clearing out your homes, clearing out your spaces, and just getting rid of things um, that create the static and energetic noise in your world. And so this is really just about making some space for all the new blessings that are going to be coming in in the new year. Um, because this has been a time of a lot of energies moving forward, uh, but little, little physical manifestation. But 2019 is going to change that. There is going to be a lot of a lot more manifestation to, you know, have the outside evidence of all the work that's been done in 2018. So this is kind of the general energies here. But let's get one for Divine Masculine when we start this reading. And he's getting Bring Your Ideas to Life the electric eel in protection. And so what I'm feeling from this is that there's there's something about him feeling like there's been something holding him back from manifest or not manifesting but creating the energies that he it's like he knows what he wants but it's like it hasn't caught. It hasn't caught. It hasn't hit. It hasn't like um come to fruition yet and it's like he's got a lot of ideas swirling in his head right now but it's also a little bit of well how to how to what am I going to do how's this all going to work so um this is really about it's like it's taking just a little bit more time than he's thinking but this is also about just getting it Like he's had an I like he knows these these things, but he's also not necessarily knowing how to make them happen. Okay, so it's like I know where I want to go, but I don't have the exact plan, and I don't know what to do to make them happen. But he is he does have that clarity. 
Okay, let's see for Divine Feminine what's coming in. And we're getting, there is always enough, the Koi, Fish, Spirit, and Protection. Interesting, they're both coming into protection. It feels like clearing out this clutter is going to flip these cards around for both of the counterparts. You know, once you get rid of these things, you'll get more clarity. You'll get more of the knowledge. You'll get more of just the, it's like, okay, forward movement, forward movement. And it could be that Divine Feminines are dealing with feeling like, they are feeling potentially a little bit of scarcity. Um, this is the consciousness that they might be clearing out at the moment. So this is what it feels like. The Divine Masculine is clearing out, like, I don't know how this is going to happen. He's clearing out the hows. How is this going to happen? How am I going to make this happen? Because the way that the vibration, um, the law of vibration works and the universe works and the universal principles is that the how is not up to you. Spirit is in charge of the how. If you set the intention and you take action and take guided action, the how will figure itself out. Okay, so this is what the Divine Masculine is currently clearing out, and the Divine Feminine is currently clearing out the feeling that there is um, scarcity, and there's not enough, and, um, you know, feeling like some, like you've lost something, Divine Feminine. Okay, so let's get some more specifics here, what's going on with each of them. So, let's see first Divine Masculine. Three cards. We got the Five of Swords. The Empress. The moon card, okay. So it feels like Divine Masculine has it just, you know, part of what he's been trying to accomplish here, it's been limited by the fact that he has had this, these Five of Swords energy here coming up, this conflict, this confusion, this energy of change. And part of what he's leaving behind are those things in his mind, his limiting beliefs, his mental processes that do not serve him anymore because he's opened up to this, these new ideas, these new concepts. And in order to manifest these new things in his life, he's got to, leer, like again, clear out the clutter. That's exactly what's happening here with the Five of Swords energy. Currently, he's in this energy of the Empress, which is very much like, he. this is what he, the idea he wants to bring to life. He's in this, he's feeling really nurtured energetically. He's feeling very, it's like this very fertile time, but it's like his, his energy and his um, his focus is very much on his divine feminine. And what's coming in here is this enhanced intuition. When he's clearing out these things, he's going to get more in tune with some of this intuitive knowledge, this ability, this this truth. Um, he's also going to be like breaking free of some of these illusions that have been holding him back. Okay, so it's like the divine feminine being in his life is helping him clear this out of his life to bring in more of the inner knowing and the truth. And, um, and, and, and the fears that he may have been hiding from himself. Okay. I wish I could get some clarifiers on these. What's the five of swords about? Get another clarifier. <laughs> Yeah, so it could be just very, so we're getting the Four of Pentacles clarifying the Five of Swords. So he's not been, um, because of what he's letting go of, he may not have been very communicative with you about, about what's going on with him. He may have been holding his cards really close to his chest and not giving very much. But it's also can be that it, this can be a very black and white energy. So for some of you, it may be this energy where, um, it's either all or nothing. There's no gray area. We're either on or we're off. But it's like he's, <laughs> he doesn't want his divine feminine to think that he has anything that he's trying to work on. Like he wants to come across like everything's really good and he's got his act together. Um, so he's not really letting on that he's been going through this process. 
Let's see, let's get one for the divine pet, like the, the Empress here. What is the clarifier for the Empress and the High Priestess? Uh huh. Here's the intuition coming in again. He is laser focused because divine, the High Priestess is the divine feminine embodied spiritually in her knowledge, and the Empress is the divine feminine embodied in human form. Um, so he is very, right now, his energies are very much being influenced by his divine feminine. She is like, she is the, the light that is leading his way here. So there could be this energy of, again, really like knowing he knows there's more to the story than he's, than he's been being told or being guided, but it's like the mystery of that story is actually what's, it's really pulling him. I feel like this energy, it's pulling him. But definitely the ideas he wants to bring to life are his divine feminine in the present moment. Okay, let's see what the moon card is here. What look at another message about the moon. Yeah. So these are this it's this intuition that's coming in around the partnership. And it's also the again, it's trusting in what he's getting around partnership. Because I feel like this interpretation of the moon energy is very much the energy of um, it's less about the integrating of the shadow side and it's really more about the intuitive side. Um, especially with the high priestess here too. It's like really, really opening to the um, intuitive side. It could be that this upcoming new moon that's happening in January, first week of January, is going to be a big one for him for manifesting this partnership. All right. Well, that's interesting. Okay. Let's see for Divine Feminine. Let's see what where her energies are. So we're getting the Six of Pentacles. And ten of Swords. And the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to pull clarifiers for each of these, but as I'm shuffling, it feels like the Divine Feminine is at this energy, obviously, of having some completion ending of a difficult cycle here where she's just feeling more balanced. It's, it's like, it feels like she knows the work that she's done. It's really come to a place where she's at a new, a new level in her life, emotionally, spiritually. And she's been feeling like there's, there's just been more balance. She's so much more balanced than she has been in the past. And because of this balance, she is feeling this ending, this completion of it's like out with the old and in with the new. Like I know the old me is dying and I am here with this new me. And she knows that because of, she knows that this process she's been through has what has led to this time of like, that's why things haven't quite manifested yet because she's been putting in this work. Um, but it's like, she's in this new energy where it's like, she just has so much more strength and knowledge and truth in her experience and in her heart that, um, yeah, here in the Knight of Cups. Yeah, she can feel... All right, I'm just, right, just going to pull the other clarifiers. One for the Ten of Swords. Yeah, endings and completions and big new beginnings in the current energy. Yes. And the Ace of Cups. Exactly. All right, well, guys, Divine Feminine... You know that things are more balanced with your divine masculine energetically, even if you're not in communication, um, there's something that you're sh sensing has shifted. Things have come more into balance. You are on his mind like crazy right now. Um, and you know, no matter where he is in his journey, you are front and center in terms of what he is processing, what he's learning, what he's focused on. And here is this offering of love. It's like you you can feel him coming towards you. You can feel this, this offering. Maybe some of you have had somebody new come into your life that you started dating and it feels more balanced, someone who's offering this to you. 
And so again, a couple different scenarios coming in being a general reading. But that could certainly be the scenario because then what there is, so either you're feeling your divine masculine coming towards you and it feels really good because it's like, okay, I, I know there's going to be a new beginning here. It's the end of this mentally difficult time and there's a new start here with this Ace of Pentacles. And what has had, what has, you know, still gestating what's coming is the Ace of Cups. So two huge gifts here from the, from the universe, the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups for Divine Feminine. So... Um, you know, I'm feeling it's less that, and even though some of you may be dating somebody now who's not your divine masculine, um, and it feels like there's a new start, there are still, again, that with the seven of pentacles coming in, I'm feeling like it's less that, although it can be for some of you, and it's more of just, you feel a shift in your divine masculine. You can feel it, even if you don't have physical evidence of it, you can feel a shift, whether it's energetically, in the dream space, or anything like that. Um, all right. And guys, I am going to be doing an extended reading. Here's the Hierophant. <laughs> I'm going to be doing an extended reading on my website. I forgot to mention that at the beginning. So if this is resonating for you, um, I will be getting more in depth over on the extended reading. But um, let's get some more. Here's a spiritual partnership, right? Okay. What is the divine? <laughs> I'm going to leave it where I went there. But it did... this is a divine masculine deck, but he knows this is a spiritual partnership with with you divine feminine he's really connecting to the spiritual energies let's see what else he wants you to know divine feminine here's the ace of wands so there is this passionate new beginning i mean ace of pentacles ace of cups ace of wands all in the same reading so there's a lot of new beginnings here guys i, I wouldn't be I, mean, I feel like this is definitely that energy that comes with the brand new year numeral the numerology changes um, every, it does change energetically, so there's just a lot of new beginnings here. What else does he want his Divine Feminine to know? Yeah, that he feels things really deeply, but he's not telling her, okay? The Four of Pentacles and the King of Cups. He's acknowledging that he isn't really giving you very much in terms of proof or evidence, or he's not communicating. And But it's also that he wants this new beginning with you. Interesting there at the three of wands at the bottom. I just noticed which is about the long-term vision making long-term plans the abundance Okay, let's see what the divine feminine Wants divine masculine to know First relating to union. I'll see what came through. What does she want him to know relating to the union energies? Seven of wands She's kind of picking her battles. She's feeling like she's needing to defend herself a little bit here there is also an energy of things coming at her. She's getting rid of the things that are coming at her. It's like the things that she might have had to deal with before. She's like, you know, I don't have time for that anymore. I have more important things to deal with than all this crap over here. So this is what she's clearing out as well. It's like this feeling like there's people coming at her from all directions. And she's like, oh, like, no, thank you. I don't want this anymore. So let's see what she wants her divine masculine to know. Here's a seven of swords. And this can have multiple meanings. Um, so let me get a clarifier for the seven of swords. Okay. Because the seven of swords can have the energy of, of um, someone being a little bit sneaky kind of behind the scenes but it, I'm not feeling that at this point it feels more like the energy of seven of swords has to do with the because he's in the process of letting go of this stuff so I'm coming back to the clearing out the clutter thing he's in the process of letting go of where he has been breaking free from the pack and she's breaking free from the pack as well so it's like she is She's living in her truth. This is why she's no longer worried about these people coming at her that are have these like 
things that they're imposing on her, things they want her to do. Oh, you should do things this way. Why are you doing this? Maybe she, and she's in this energy, seven and seven. I'm like, you know what? No, I'm going to live my life the way I want to live my life. And this is about not letting other people's negative influences affect you. So it's like she's leaving some swords behind and she's taking some with her. She's no longer going to be going along with things because that's what everyone expects of her. She's breaking free. And when it's coming to love, like she may be just saying like, I know you don't understand what I'm going through, but it's fine. Um, and she wants her divine masculine to know this. It's like she knows that there's this communication around love. She can feel it from him. She knows it's a bit of a rookie energy. But it is a relationship moving to the next level. But it's like she, no matter what people are saying to her, again, I'm just getting drawn to these two together combined with this. So she's kind of like, you know, I, I don't care what other people think. I'm going to live my truth. And my truth is you, divine masculine. Okay. Let's get another thing she wants her to know. Yeah. So she's in a, she knows this is a very healing time for the two of you. She's also in this energy of really knowing that things are happening, things are aligning, things are very positive. It's a time of change, moving forward. She can see, see it, it's like she has this, tr this continued new knowledge, not new knowledge, but um, just this continued trust in the messages from the divine. And... This has been really good for her to break free from the crowd. Break free of this. Because the Divine Masculine has been doing the same thing. He's also been breaking free. But she is at a new level breaking free. Whether this is in your career. Whether this is, I feel like this is related to love or emotional um, connections or intuition. It's like, you know what? No, I know that I'm going to be guided by my guidance. I'm going to follow my guidance when it comes to my life. When it comes to my work. When it comes to my love. Everything that I'm going to be doing is going to be this heightened intuition and living from the heart space because this is what I know I'm meant to do. All right. Let's get one message for where the Divine Masculine is here relating to the Divine Feminine Trust. He's leaping into the unknown, having faith and moving forward, believing he will fly. He's trusting the process. He's trusting. He's, this is kind of like the, 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 this is like the fool card in the main, major, uh, the, the, uh, in the tarot. So he is in the process. I mean, divine feminine front and center. He's just trusting. He's going forward. He's like, I know this is not like anything I've done before. He's moving towards his partnership. He's trusting his intuition. This is what the, the phase the Divine Masculine is at right now. Let's see where the Divine Feminine is at. Discernment. Yeah, all is not what it seems. Keep your dreams a secret. Don't tell other people Divine Feminine because they're not going to get it. This is about trusting, again, your, your intuition and that what you're observing on the outside is not necessarily what's going on energetically. So this is a so whatever you see happening potentially with other people around you, even your divine masculine, let's say you see stuff on social media, you know, all is not what it seems. You know the truth and you need to use your discern discernment and stay true to your knowing. Regardless of what you're seeing happening, stay true to your knowing. And and this is about keeping things kind of like I'm not even going to engage with these other people that are coming at me telling me I need to live my life differently. I trust my intuition and I'm being very discerning. Okay, I'm going to get one on the union energies as well. Uh, adventure, dare to do things differently, manifest your dreams and move to a new location. So this is basically saying like you're both learning to do things differently, leaping into a new world trusting this is about continuing to trust and to use your intuitive knowledge divine feminine for the greater good for your good breaking free not letting not letting negative influences or expectations shift you but you guys are both going on an adventure together you truly are 
and you've got each other's backs is what's interesting. It's like, I'm getting drawn to this unicorn and this unicorn where this one's like nuzzling her and like, okay, you know the truth. And then he's sprinting over here to the divine masculine who's about to take a leap of faith. It's like this unicorn is the in intermediary between these two. And he's like looking over here like, okay, I'm going to go. Yes, I'm coming. I'm going to take that leap of faith. I'm going to go over here and hope that everything's going to work out. And it will. So guys, uh, interesting reading today for where things are at. Um, I'm going to be doing the extended reading now. The link will be down below. We're going to get into a lot more of the union energies. We're going to get more into divine masculine and divine feminine. More details on how they're relating to each other what they're currently working through, what they're needing to, to heal and work through, and what the, what the combined energies are, what the, um, what the dynamic is between the two energies. We'll get a lot more information there. So if this feels like it's been resonating for you, and you, the extended reading um, will definitely get more in-depth for you, because I'm obviously tuning into your dynamic if this feels like I'm doing a reading for you. Um, if you want a private reading with me, that's the way to get the best information because, um, obviously I'm tuning specifically into your situation and getting you guidance specifically for you and not for the collective. So that information is also down below of how to order that. And, um, so until next time, guys, I send you so much love. Bye.